What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So AMD's recently released their 7840U driver, which we pretty much use for side loading the unofficial driver here on the go and using fluid motion, motion frames and all that. We also have gotten recently a, an official update from Lenovo for their GPU drivers as well. They are still kind of out of date, but they do work much better. And we've taken a look at those as well. But what I wanna take a look at here is installing and running this side loaded new AMD driver on the device and some game performance compared to the OEM driver and stuff like that. So what we're going to have here is right now I am on the newer version from Lenovo 241030 for Adrenaline. This is dated for I believe it's 716 2024 from them and we're going to be using DDU to clean up our drivers uh, here as well and then here's the website for AMD 7840U where they have the new 241201 Adrenaline version, the newer drivers dated for December 5th here that you can side load that we're going to do in the video. Now, I've recently in the past couple months also had guides for doing this and doing the full DDU in safe mode and all of that. So while there may be things that I go over quicker here, if you want to go back and check these guides out too, I'll put links in the description and it can really get you familiar with the process of installing these drivers versus the official version from Lenovo. All right, so over here on the website, we'll go ahead and download this new driver from AMD for our side loading or force installing here on the Legion Go. And I'm also going to grab the new version of DTU for the driver uninstaller. And again, you can check out those other videos I go through doing full safe mode setup and all that. If you want to do it that way, I'm just going to go through and do the easy way here, which works fine for me. So I'll get both of these downloaded. We'll get my driver removed and then we'll get the new driver from AMD installed. So let's go in here to my downloads. We're going to go ahead and extract the DDU that we got here. So go in here, extract all, extract again, and then we're going to come into, you'll see application DDU up here. We're just going to go ahead and double tap on that. And it's going to do another quick extract. That should pop up here, tap on extract. And then now we can actually get to the folder with the application here. So top one display, driver uninstaller right here open that up and now we're into ddu again i go over this a lot more in the other couple of videos i'll have links in the description if you want to check it out but i am showing the process here not in safe mode just so you can see how it works here and i've had it work fine for me both ways but anyways going through selecting this and we're going to select uh gpu here on our drop down amd now I am also going to pause windows updates so when this restarts it doesn't try to overwrite this driver there's other ways to try to more permanently stop this from happening, but just for sake of this being easy, I'm just gonna pause mine for five weeks. And usually that works for me, and I do so much tinkering and factory resetting and changing of drivers anyway, I rarely have to worry about it, but for now, we'll just go with that. And then we'll let DDU remove the driver, restart the device, and go through all that process. And with that being done, we'll come back here to a device that no longer has an official uh, driver of anything. It's just got the Microsoft driver installed on here. So we're gonna go ahead and back into my downloads, double tap and open up that AMD driver that we downloaded from their website. It's gonna open up and start the install and it is gonna do its typical failure or oops. This should typically happen for most people. This is the pretty normal for the process. So we'll get a, oops, something went wrong. We'll go ahead and close that out. But it did go ahead and put all the files here on the PC on the Legion Go that we need. So next we wanna go into our device manager. You can pull that up with search if you don't have it already shortcut and ready to go. And then over here in display adapters, you're gonna see Microsoft uh, display adapter because we don't have an actual driver installed anymore. It's just running off uh, Windows here. So I'm just gonna go into properties. We're gonna to go to driver. We're gonna to go to update driver. We're going to do browse my computer for the, the files here for the drivers and then the bottom option and then have disk and then we're going to go to browse and then we're going to go to uh, this PC and our C drive where we have our main operating system installed and you'll see AMD there should now be a folder there so I'm going to tap on that I'm going to open it a couple times till I get into the display here go all the way to display then we're going to see this WTA underscore INF, we're gonna open that. And this bottom file here, the INF file is the one we're gonna select on. We'll go ahead and click open and then okay. And that's gonna go ahead and bring up our list of drivers. I typically go with the TM driver. There's a non TM version for the 780M as well, which is a more generic version. I've had both work just fine on the Legion Go and have tested them back and forth, but uh, this is the first one that'll pop up here. You can go ahead and install that and it'll go through its process of installing the drivers. 
it may flip your screen around and uh, stuff like that, you know, and it might bring it back to portrait or to landscape and it might not. And this time for me, it didn't bring it back. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this back around and then we can take a look at what we got here. So we'll go back to display settings and our orientation here. Switch this up. Oh, we got to do that flipped. Hold on. And orientation again and landscape flipped. Okay. So we'll keep that. All right, now let's go back to our device manager and you can see here now it lists the 780M uh, graphics driver here on the Legion Go. So we forced installed the driver, but we do still need the AMD Angel and software. We want all the features and to take advantage of something like Fluid Motion Frames 2, which would be one of the main reasons why you would be doing this anyway. So we're going to go to that same spot, that same AMD folder and work our way all the way into the packages, drivers, display, and then that same WT file here and then you're going to see this lettered numbered file right above the um, display install that we did earlier and you're going to double tap on that folder and go in here and find the ccc2 i believe it's called it's an application for installing adrenaline right here so once you find this file we're going to double tap on that to install all right and then once that finishes up we can close that out and rather than jump right into adrenaline i'm going to go ahead and restart the system now that we've installed the new driver and we've installed adrenaline on here so we'll go ahead and do that now once we're restarted i'm going to go ahead and open up the adrenaline software and we'll see that now instead of being on the official driver from lenovo we're now on the forced install here 24 12 1 dated for uh, november there so now we have force installed this and AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 works fine on here along with all the other features and we'll take a look at that when we get into the gaming performance side of things. But this is generally the process for going ahead and getting this installed, working and set up here. Um, again, I kind of go through it a little slower in the other videos so I will link those in the description for you as well. But I did show everything here that I had to do to get this installed onto the device. So yeah, so we're going to move into game performance. We'll take a look at some comparing to the official Lenovo driver the new one that's been out for a week or two now that we've been able to download and we'll also talk a lot about the amd fluid motion frames 2 which is a big reason why a lot of people would sideload the driver so let's get into the game performance comparisons first all right so the first game we're going to look at is final fantasy 16 and the thing with this is a lot of people have asked me if the new lenovo official driver still crashes the game in battle and the answer is no i haven't had any crashes using the official driver anymore both of them still do give me some stutter though the official driver and the new forced install here from amd but it does depend on what area of the game i'm in and they do tend to kind of stutter in similar areas where things are loading in so it might be kind of the nature of things i did try upping my vram as well but it didn't ever help me in this game uh in the past or really now so i just left everything with four gigs for this video and we're running at 25 watts but ultimately depending on where i'm at the newer driver would actually work a little bit better and be a little bit smoother for this game especially as i got farther in to some of the other saves i had and levels and areas um, the good thing is neither one's crashing or having problems when we activate the skills anymore or anything like that um, and both are working okay but we do have bigger dips when it comes to the official driver in this game versus the side loaded or force driver here from the amd side so that's something to note here for final fantasy 16 while the official driver doesn't crash anymore the performance isn't as good as side loaded now space marine 2 is kind of another thing um it's a little different where sometimes the official driver actually seems to outperform the amd forced install driver here um that we're using with the same settings but it's not always the case a lot of the times they're just basically the same performance and you don't really notice any difference it really kind of depends on where you're at and what's going on on screen we'll change scenes here and as it gets busier you'll see that the newer driver actually seems to handle uh the busier stuff happening and the load and happening a little bit better than the official driver at least in these areas i've been testing like this where it gets a little bit of an advantage when it gets busy but ultimately i think for the most part there'll be very similar performance but i do see those bigger drops over on the official driver so i'm kind of like what we saw over in final fantasy uh, 16 so kind of a similar thing there uh, frame generation has been added to Space Marine 2 recently and it's working great for both drivers. I didn't have a comparison here, but both of them have been working great and it's kind of a game changer for enjoying this game here on the Legion Go. It's been working really well.
Now the last game we'll really look at for comparison is Cyberpunk. I just always like to take a look at this one because I swear the performance just always changes depending on the driver. It's like super sensitive to any changes in the driver. And ultimately for this game, it wasn't really an improvement over areas like it was in the other two games with Final Fantasy 16 or Space Marine 2. For Cyberpunk anyway, performance just isn't quite as good. Oftentimes the official driver right now, the newer official driver from Lenovo is outperforming the forced install one for me. It certainly isn't by much. We're talking a couple FPS in most of the benchmarks, which I always run multiple times, um, and some in gameplay. It's just that you can see it, and you do notice it a little bit if you're doing comparisons. If you weren't comparing them side by side, most people probably wouldn't know it, but that's why it's kind of fun to take a look at these anyways and see what's going on. I also noticed that even though my testing conditions are the exact same, this game in particular did give me a lot higher temperatures uh, that on the newer force driver than the official Novo driver. So that was something to kind of note there as well. And again, jumping into like real world stuff, getting away from the benchmark, you still do see a bit of advantage over on the uh, Lenovo driver side versus the newer forced install AMD driver uh, we have over here. And that doesn't really matter what settings I use, that's the case. But again, the temps for some reason for this game were just always a bit higher and I didn't always experience that in the other game. So it's just kind of interesting that this one seems to have some oddities in the performance um, and in the temps. But frame gen for both also worked really well here, just like in all the other games, in-game frame generation for both of these drivers has been working really well. So one of the last things we'll take a look at here is going to be PoE 2, and I'm just bringing this up to show Fluid Motion Frames 2 from AMD using the app, right? And I'm going to activate that with a hotkey I have on the back button. So now that's active for Fluid Motion Frames, and you'll see the Lenovo display is going to show the... Um, the frames with frame generation and my MSI afterburner without uh, showing the base. So yeah, it works really well. And any game that has in-game frame gen, I do prefer to use in-game if I can, but there's plenty that do not. And this AMD's Fluid Motion Frames 2 has been getting better and better uh, when it comes to it just not having so much ghosting and issues, pixelation, input latency. It's really improved and works well here on the app. And that works for docked or undocked or on the handheld for me uh, as well. So. That's been nice to see. I've tested that in a few games, and that's been probably one of the bigger reasons why anyone would really want to go through side loading from game performance I'm looking at. Unless there's something broken that needs the new driver, I personally wouldn't go away from the official Lenovo driver, especially because some people do experience trouble with Legion Space or the overlay or other things. It just can get quirky sometimes when you start side loading the driver, so that's just always something to look out for. I haven't had any problems with it. Space and everything's working fine for me. You just saw the overlay work for me for Legion, but... Uh, yeah, it can be hit and miss for everybody when it comes to these. So I think the main reason is if you want AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2, uh, it's fun to mess around with. But as far as looking at game performance right now and how things are working, since Lenovo did push that update recently, even though it is still dated, it's better than that April driver we had. I would probably stick with that unless you really want to tinker around with things and mess with the app uh, features a lot more, which uh, work better on the side loaded driver. All right, guys, anyways, that'll do it for now. Thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. I really appreciate it as always, and I'll see you in the next one.